Now it's time to introduce you to Tomorrow's Leader, presented by Houston Methodist. James Fairman, football, punter, Sid Richardson. I think one, one big part of really proving that I could be a leader was during the off-season workouts, because you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing. We're doing 1,600-yard sprints uh, in 15 seconds, so everyone kind of looks, looks over, and if they see a, a punter or a kicker beating them in a sprint, it's kind of like, oh, man, I need to pick it up. So I think that's where I kind of fell into that leadership role was, hey, you know, I'm going to push you guys because I know you guys don't want to get beat by a punter. So, um, yeah, and I think now as a senior, it's a little bit easier as well. I've, I've been through some dark days here at Rice early on in my career and really learned from those and, and persevered through them. So I think uh, a lot of guys on the team look up, look up to me. I mean, not only me, but they can look up to specialists in general just because, because we do go through a lot of the same stuff. <laughs> you know, I think growing up, playing sports and, and being involved in uh, my church and just the community. My parents pushed me to, to explore those horizons and, and, and really push myself, not just in the classroom, not just in sports, but also uh, in, chari in charitable work uh, with Salvation Army and being involved in youth group and, and young life and stuff like that. So yeah, I think from a very young age, it was kind of uh, my destiny. This past Sunday, I was with a, a little boy named Alec, and man, he, he didn't even, he would score a touchdown, and he would just lay down, and he was just like happy to be out there, and I was like, you know, I get to come out here every day, and it's like, oh, I have to practice, but man, if Alec could do that every day, he'd be, he'd be so happy to do that, so uh, it, it really puts that in perspective, and you know, it, it helps me mature as a, as a young man. 